All right, talk a little bit about the Olathe Pirates, who uh, off to a sluggish start in the first game yesterday, trail 12-9 at halftime against Florence, and then absolutely dominated the second half of play, winning 45-28 over the Huskies, and uh, Florence, the team that knocked off Holy Family in that Sweet 16 that we were talking about. And, and a lot of times you see a team come out, win a game that they shouldn't as a 17 seed over a one, and then turn around, flatten out, and get nailed the next time out, and that's exactly what, uh, or what they did. So 45-28 over Florence for Olathe, a big 36-point second half, and this should be a good one. Like the way uh, Matchbuff can shoot the ball from the outside. They've got four shooters that can knock it down from beyond the arc. And for Olathe, if they play like they did in the second half yesterday, we get a pretty good game this afternoon, or this morning rather, for fifth place in the state of Colorado. Starting lineups will look like this for Bishop Matchbuff, the Buffaloes. 21 straight wins to open the season. They'll start with Diana Montoya, the point guard. Senior averages four and a half points, four and a half rebounds and five assists per basketball game. Kirsten Grandin will start. She's a sophomore, eight points per game. Lucy Rogers down low. Uh, junior averages 7.3 points a game and is a great tandem with Rebecca Howell, the senior, who starts at the low post for the Buffaloes. And Aisha May will join those two down at the low post uh, for the Buffaloes. So that's the starting lineup for the Buffaloes for the Olathe Pirates. They have a 5'6 senior, Tawny Middleton, 18.6 points per game in the regular season. And uh, she'll start alongside Kylie Tate, who has been so terrific in this tournament so far. 12.8 uh, points a game on the regular season, 4.5 rebounds per basketball game. Haley Turley, a 5'4 junior, will start outside. Six points per basketball game, three and a half rebounds. Down low, Bethany Cox, terrific uh, low block player. 5'9 senior, Bethany Cox, averages just three a game, but she's been really good in the tournament here. And Brenda Suarez, a senior. Two points per basketball game will complete the lineup for the Olathe Pirates. Talk about some of the players in yesterday's uh, game for match buff against Bayfield. And big scores in that one. Rebecca Howell had 19 in the basketball game and six rebounds. Big effort for her alongside Lucy Rogers. Rogers had four points and 14 rebounds. Rogers all over the boards yesterday for the Buffaloes. Aisha May chipped in 13 points on the, uh, on the morning. Heidi Grandin had 11 in the basketball game. Diana Montoya was terrific at the point guard spot. Besides dishing out the assists and running the show from the top, she had 10 points and six rebounds in the game. For Olathe, big players to watch, of course, for them. Tawny Middleton and Kylie Tate kind of run the show. And yesterday, it was uh, Tate and Middleton both with nine points in the basketball game and three rebounds apiece. Bethany Cox came up big. I said her uh, average just below three points for the regular season, but she was big yesterday. 12 points. They got uh, the ball to her in the post a bunch. 12.6 rebounds. So look for Bethany again to be an important part of this Pirate offense today. So what they want to avoid, the Pirates and Coach Paul Althaus, is a slow start again. Just nine points in the first half yesterday for the Pirates, but 36 in the second half as they uh, just blew out Florence in the second half. Final score there was 45 to 28. 13 and 0 in the Western Slope this year for the Pirates. Offense averages just under 53 points per game. Second time they've been here to the grade eight in the last three years. Finished fourth in 2010, and this year they're going for fifth. For the Buffaloes, second straight time they've been to Moby Arena. They finished in sixth place last year. They were in this fifth place game and lost it to Estes Park, 58-53. So a chance for them to make amends and get a fifth place trophy on their mantle. The late the Pirates are out and ready to go. We're waiting on the Buffaloes. And this one about ready to get underway on Chassa.tv. Thanks for joining us. Six games for you today on Championship Saturday. To follow this one at 11.30, it's going to be Manuel on the boys' side. Manuel against uh, CS Christian. That should be a good one. Manuel came from behind to beat Man Man Manitou Springs yesterday. And uh, the Lions from 
Colorado Springs Christian knocked off Eden by 10. All right, ball to the front court. This is Montoya with a basketball. Super point guard. Outside, went with it to Lucy Rogers. Back inside, this is Howell. Put it up off the glass. Can't get it. And out of bounds here. It'll stay with the Buffaloes. 20 seconds in. Pull, pull up a chair here. Get a good look here on Chassa.tv. It's Kylie Tate with a pick. Tried to get it to Middleton. Knocked away in a turnover. Heidi Grandin, baseline here. Ball knocked away. Kylie Tate is all over the court, and you'll see it today. On the ground for loose balls. Terrific inside the paint. And she can put them down from outside. Here's Grandin. The post was from Howell there, and they go to her. Montoya will take it between the circles. Aisha May to the hole. In deep, this is going to be a foul on Turley. Haley Turley with the first foul of the, of the uh, morning. Talking about that CS Christian and Manual game. That'll go at 11.30 this morning. Here's Howell, low post to Grandin. Aisha May to the hole. In deep, lay it up and miss the layup. Bethany Cox the board. Turley will spin. That's Middleton for three. Yes, sir. Pirates on top, 3-0. Already a third of the way there to what they got in the first half yesterday. May with a basketball. Turley's on her. Lucy Rogers low post. These two will play great together. Terrific tandem down low. Rogers and Howell. Going to be a foul here on Cox. Will pick up her first team second here early. Montoya to inbound. This is Grandin. With the basketball now, Howell outside. Going to go back to Montoya left side. Very active inside. Rebecca Howell battling against Bethany Cox with the basketball and a foul. Cox came over. Tate was there as well. As well, let's see who they get. Kylie Tate gets her first foul, third team foul already here against the Pirates. Howell's first on the way, and it rolls off. Seventy-seven percent foul shooter, Rebecca Howell. Four of five from the line in the win against Bayfield, and she got one of the two there. Front court now. Ellie Kemp up off the bench. Olathe Pirates head coach, and here's a foul inside. Turley got to the baseline. Anytime defensively you give up that baseline, there's a great chance that you'll score on the offensive side, or at least get to the free throw line, and that's what Turley does here. 5-4 junior, 76% from the foul stripe. That one gets the shooter's roll. And a 4-1 lead for the Pirates here early. 5 more to come your way when this one's done on Chassa.tv. Turley makes the pair. Ball in the front court here from Montoya. Howell will go high post. Here's a screen from Rogers. Almost lost the basketball. Aisha May. Howell outside to Grandin cross court. And back out to Aisha. Rebecca Howell, high post. Just watch the, uh, watch the work between Rogers and Howell. Inside, Rogers got to the hole and then threw it off the hands of Montoya. Turnover here for the Buffaloes. A little slow to start for the Buffaloes this morning. Kind of the way the Pirates did yesterday against Florence. 5-1 for Olathe. Here's Middleton. Front court and Grandin's on her. 18 and a half a game for Middleton on the regular season in that Western Slope Conference. 
Back out again, got Bethany Cox, left elbow. Swing it instead to Tate. There's the high arcing left-handed shot, no good, and Howell clear. Montoya, head up, looking down the court. Gets the ball to Rogers in deep, and she's pushed from behind. And they're going to get Turley here, I think. Be the second on Haley, if that's true. Fourth team foul already against Olathe. They've got the 5-1 lead early. And this is going to be Peyton Gret in for the Pirates. And Turley's going to sit down with the two fouls. Inbound here for the Buffaloes. Ball knocked away. Nice job. Kylie Tate on the steal. Told you, she's all over the place. In deep, baseline, throw it up no, but she's going to earn free throws. Once again, got to the baseline and got to the hole. Hey, Buffs, we do the same thing. We get the same call. Foul the charge against number 24, Asia May. Kylie Tate in the game yesterday. Nine points, three boards. Two of eight from the floor. One of two beyond the arc, and she knocks that free throw down. She's three for three. I take that back. That's Tate's first free throw. Four for six at the line yesterday against Florence. Buffaloes is a team, 13 of 20 against the Huskies, 65% on the day. Knocks down the pair, and it's a 7-1 lead here for the Pirates early. Front court with a basketball. That's Diana Montoya. Look, all alone inside, down low is Alex Tina, and she puts it in the hole. Alexa Tina. Didn't score yesterday, had a rebound. Inside, here they go. Ball knocked out of the hands of Middleton on the floor, last to touch it. I think the Buffaloes. And that is the call, so the Pirates will get it underneath. Tony Middleton will go to inbound the basketball. Here's Peyton Gret outside. She looks well today. She got run over by a bulldozer in yesterday's game. Spent some time on the floor after that. Again, baseline for Tate. She stepped on the end line. So turnover here for the Pirates who lead this one 7-3. 3.55 to go here in the first quarter on Chassa.tv. Ball left side here for the Buffaloes. Heidi Grandin now in the basketball game. Sister of Kirsten who started. She wears number five. Heidi wears 21. Here's Montoy. Gets a screen from Howell. Tried to go outside that time to Grandin. The ball stripped. Brenda Suarez was in to take a look at it. Poked it away. Here's Tate. Back out to Suarez. Back inside. Tate against the trees. That ball rejected there by Howell. Nice job defensively. Howell moving over and got the block. Buffalo's down four. 3.08 to go first quarter. Montana to the hole. Throw it up. No. Rebound is off. And here's Tate. Got Middleton to her right. Kylie going to back it out now. And there's the baseline move. In deep. Put it up and in. L.A. Kemp want to talk about it. That's about the third time her defenders have let the Pirates get baseline on them. 2.50 to go in the first quarter. 9-3 Pirates. Already the Pirates as many points as they had in the first half yesterday against Florence. But remember, they came out and scored 36 points in the second half. In-depth coverage of every state tournament game in class, in every class, I should say, can be found online at coloradopreps.com. Get the quickest results and updated brackets at coloradopreps.com. We invite you to join us for a full recap of state tournament games each night from 9 to 10 o'clock on the scoreboard show. Kevin Schaefer has all those scores for you on the Colorado Preps radio network. Last night for that, last night of basketball here in the state of Colorado. Championship Saturday here at Moby Arena. Pirates off to a good start. 9-3 here for Olathe. Kylie Tate has four in a basketball game. Haley Turley, a couple of free throws. And Tawny Middleton knocked down a tray to start things off. For the Buffaloes, Alexa Tina 
has two points, and Rebecca Howell down at the post has the other one. Front court here for Diana Montoya. Like the way she handles the basketball. Left to right, down the lane, throw it up and in. Montoya got through the defense that time, and it's 9-5, Buffalo's within four. Tate gets it to the front, now run down here by uh, Kinnernecht. Amanda in the corner, she's in for the first time here. Gets the ball to Middleton. Connie's going to dribble back out now. Put it in low, taken away, and here's Aisha May ahead of the pack. She'll lay it in. The Buffaloes are right back in the ballgame. May had 13 yesterday in that win over Bayfield. 72-49. Told you about the three-point shooting for the Buffaloes. They were 8 of 12 from beyond the arc against Bayfield yesterday. Bethany Cox will throw up a three. That's long. Run down by Kinnernecht. Peyton Gred had it taken away. Ball to May again. In against uh, Bethany Cox, and we're tied. One here for Matchbuck. 125 to go in the first. Cox will give it right-hand side to Gret. Middleton knocked down a three for her only shot of the game so far. That started us off. Good score at 18 and a half a game in the regular season, but just about a 10 point average in the tournament. Tate and Cox at the high post, double high post here. Peyton Gret back out on top now to Tate. Here's Middleton, toss up another three and that one sails long. Gret with the save, nice job. Kinnernecht with a left hander, that's just short. Gets her own rebound back and misses again. Now it's cleared, Rebecca Howell will get it out. 40 seconds left in the quarter. Aisha May wants the hole in deep before the shot. I think they're going to get uh, Peyton Gret here with a little push. The first for Peyton Gret. Team's fifth is what I have, and that's what the scoreboard says. So we're all matched up right now. 9-9 tie. It was 9-3 for Olathe. 6-0 run here for the Buffaloes. Fifth place game. It's the consolation finals in the 3A tournament here at Moby Arena. Montoya outside. May will take it from Grandin now. Left hand side. On the way from Heidi Grandin. In and out, rebound down low, put back no. Again, up and in. Rebecca Howell off the miss from Alexa Tino. Howell's got three. Tying out on the floor for the Pirates. Paul Oldhouse wants to talk about it. Matchbook's on an 8-0 run with 11 seconds left in the quarter. And Althouse probably wants to see them get one good effort at the basket before the end of the quarter. Six-point lead for the Pirates has disappeared into a two-point lead here for the Buffaloes. Want to thank Adams State College as one of our sponsors of the tournament. K-12 educators can meet licensing requirements and earn advanced degrees through Adams State distance learning. Hundreds of professional development courses are offered on site and at a distance. For more, visit www.adams.edu. That's www.adams.edu, Adams State College. All right, two-point lead for the Buffaloes. 8-0 run here to end the first quarter. Here's 10 ticks left on the clock as Middleton comes in against Aisha May. Tate's outside. Going to go to the basket and dropped it out of bounds. Knocked out, looked like. Alexa Tina, the last one to touch it. 1.2 seconds of the catch and shoot here for the Pirates. Middleton, outside, on the way, back to the rim. One quarter in the books, and the Buffaloes have come from six down to carry a two-point lead into the second quarter. 11-9, Matchbrook over Olathe. You're watching coverage of the 3A State Tournament on Chassa.tv. He wasn't looking for a roommate, not even a four-legged one. But good things have a way of turning up. Wasn't long till they realized how much they relied on each other. There's power in a great relationship. That's why we take time to get to know each of our customers personally. 
like Henry and Chance. Those relationships are the strength of our community bank. And that's the way banking should be. Second quarter get to set under get uh, getting set to get underway here 11-9 for Bishop Matchbook a two point lead they were down 9-3 but eight straight puts them on the lead at the end of one Aisha May four points first quarter Rebecca Howell had three and a pair each for Montoya and Alexa Tina for the Pirates Kylie Tate with four Tani Middleton with three those are the two big scores. Haley Turley with a couple of points. Turley had four yesterday. Bethany Cox was the big contributor above and beyond her average yesterday. She had 12 and averages about three a game. Just wonder if that stat's right because she looks so good in the post. Ball knocked away here by uh, Kylie Tate. She's the last one to touch it and the Buffaloes will get the handle on it. No question, she is uh, Kylie Tate, the one that gets most places on this team. Underneath the boards, in the paint, outside, she's just everywhere and always around the basketball. Inside here, Howell the post, swinging in the middle, kind of a goes, it goes. Rebecca Howell, she had 19 yesterday in the win over Bayfield, and she's on her way here with five. 77% from the foul line. On the way and perfect. Good start for the Buffs in the second quarter here. 14-9. They're on an 11-0 run right now for Match Buff. Middleton's in trouble here. Got, almost got the tie up to Grandin. Middleton able to rest it away from her and Olathe will set up shop here with Kylie Tate. Double high post again here for the Pirates. Middleton outside. Watching Middleton play, know she can score. She's getting about half of her season average here in the tournament. Just think she needs to be more offensive. Here's Tate, outside, back of the side of the rim, no good. Rebound fought for by Amanda Kinnernecht. She does a nice job, good, good hustle inside. Kinnernecht always around the loose balls, picking them up. Tate trying to get it away here, back out on top, and Middleton will set up, 6.40 to go in the first half. 14-9, Pirates have been on nine for quite a while here. They led 9-3. Here's a pass intercepted there by Rebecca Howell. She'll dish to Montoya and Diana bring it to the front court. Dana Jenkins in with the basketball now and they'll give it back to Montoya. Grand in the cutter. Here's Howell at the high post, at the uh, top of the key actually. Inside. Ball knocked around on the floor. Buffalo's going to keep it. Montoya, nice pass down low. Lucy Rogers couldn't finish. Looked like some contact down low. Nice job of spotting Rogers at the low post by Diana Montoya. Always head up, always looking. She can really pass the basketball. 14-9. Buffalo's on top by five. In the middle of an 11-0 run after a 9-3 start for the Pirates. Middleton front court. This is at least four minutes for the Pirates without a point. Probably closer to five here. In trouble again with the basketball was Tate. Gets out of it to the corner now. Tried to go back out to Middleton. Knocked out of bounds. 5.38 to go. When this one's done at 11.30, it'll be the boys' consolation final for fifth place. The manual Thunderbolts. Here's Middleton. Back of the rim, no. Howell will clear, and C.S. Christian will take on the Thunderbolts. That should be a good one. Here's Grandin. Good three. Got her up. They got her inside the arc, so Heidi just had a foot inside. Give her a two there. And it's 5-0 in the quarter, and now this is a 13-0 run for the Buffaloes. And a turnover here. Paul Althaus team. A little bit of a slump right now for the Pirates. Dana Jenkins with the basketball. Rogers open inside. You know, it looked like Jenkins wanted to go to her earlier. 
And then the second time she passed, already Rodgers had moved. Tate for three, that's off the rim. Brenda Suarez in the corner. Here's Turley from 15, can't get it to go. Runs down her own rebound and Jenkins is gonna take it away. Buffalo's on the run here, 13 straight for the Buffaloes. Lucy Rogers left-handed, can't get it to go. Offensive foul. Rogers running Tate over at the low post. Emphatic call by the referee and the block charges, you gotta be that way. 16-9, hardest call to make in basketball, that block charge. Pirates looking to get off this nine. They've been there a long time. Nine wasn't good to them yesterday. They had only nine points at halftime. Gotta think they've been about seven minutes now without a point. They had a 9-3 lead about halfway through the uh, first quarter. And six, or rather 13 straight here for the Buffaloes. Middleton gives the ball to Turley in the corner. And they're going to get a foul on Howell reaching in. Half, exactly halfway through the second quarter right now. First for Howell, fourth team foul. Middleton will inbound to basketball. Here's Turley. Haley gets a screen from Kinnerneck there. And uh, between the circles now, Kylie Tate will settle things down. Here's Kinnerneck. Cutting through wide open that time was Middleton. Didn't get it in the paint like she wanted to. Instead, she's going to pop for three. Off the rim, no. Here's Turley with another rebound. Put back, won't go, but a foul. Haley Turley rebounding the ball well. Well, Kevin Schaefer's in the house. I don't think he's got much sleep the last few days, but he's here. 3.38 to go in this first half. Buffalo's on a 13-0 run. Lead at 16-9. Turley's free throw. Off the rim. 76% foul shooter. Ellie well, Kemp having some words with the referees in front of us. Aisha May is going to check back in now for the Buffaloes. Second one coming for Turley. They're still trying to get off that nine points. In and out, no good. Chase down, Kinnernecht. Told you about her. She's really well running down the loose balls. Here's Middleton. Kinnernecht's going to fire. Left-handed for three. Got it. Amanda Kinnernecht finally breaks the streak. The 13-0 run for the Buffaloes is done. And now they're talk, stopping and talking. I think they're talking about uh, Tawny Middleton, who maybe was the shooter before. And let's see if they can straighten things out. They ended up with Turley at the free throw line. And I think they're saying it should have been Middleton here. Let's see what happens. Sixteen twelve, four point lead for the Buffaloes here, three twenty five to go in the first half at Moby Arena. Consolation finals for fifth place in the state of Colorado between these two teams. Here's Montoya to the front court. Breaking through right there, trying to get to the hole was Alexa Tina. Inside they got it to her this time, put up no, gets her own rebound back, throws it up no good. Inside, that won't go. Lucy Rogers battles, and we got a jump ball. Possession arrow is going to go to the Pirates here. That's not true. Boy, they already changed it. Boy, they're quick on that scoreboard. Buffalo is going to get the loose ball here. Another tie-up. No, Turley's going to take it away. And a foul down low. Alexa Tina, a little frustrated in losing the basketball at that point. And what they do, what you do sometimes when frustration sets in is you try to get it back and force a foul. 16 foul, six apiece on the team foul, so we'll shoot from here on out. 2.50 to go in the first half. 16-12, ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Heidi Grandin. 
rather Kirsten Grandin. The Grandin sisters. Heidi wears 21, Kirsten number five. Outside with a basketball here is Turley. Aisha Mays on her. Bethany Cox trying to get low post action here. Wants the basketball. Lucy Rogers battling her. Here's Tate. Goes in the corner to Turley. Baseline there, tries to go to Suarez. And the ball knocked, and I guess nobody touched it. Straight out of bounds here, so turnover for the Pirates. 16-12, 2.21 to go here in the first half. Pirates led 9-3 in this one. Then the Buffaloes went on a 13-0 run. We've got a timeout here. 2.21 to go, 30-second timeout. Buffaloes went on that 13-0 run, and now the Pirates have cut the lead to four here at 16-12. to 12. Coverage of the state basketball tournament on Chassa.tv is presented in part by Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance. They can handle your auto, home, and life insurance needs locally with qualified and knowledgeable agents throughout the state. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. So the Buffaloes, who were trailing 9-3 and built that 16-9 lead, the 9 hasn't been good to the Pirates. They had 9 points at halftime yesterday. They started out strong today, but they've only got 12 here. They scored 36 second-half points in the win yesterday over Florence on their way to a 45-28 victory. Aisha May inside is going to get the hoop and the harm. Six points for Aisha May. The junior who averages 13 a game. And she's going to go to the free throw line here and try to make it seven on the day. May was four of six from the free throw line yesterday in the win over Bayfield. Metzbuff dominated that game, 72-49. 2.06 in the first half. Aisha May to the free throw line. Trying to extend the lead to seven here for the Buffaloes. May's free throw on the way, back of the rim, no. Nice rebound inside, Diana Montoya, the point guard, snuck in there and got the offensive board. Here's May to Grandin outside. Grandin again, gets to the paint, she gets fouled. And this is going to be Kylie Tate's second, I believe. Shooting foul and going to the free throw line is Kirsten Grandin. The sophomore, 67% from the foul line this year. First one on the way, front of the rim, back of the rim, and falls in. Grandin yesterday had just one foul shot, old, oh, a zero for one. She had eight points in the basketball game. Knocks the second one down, and the Buffaloes build on that lead. It's 20 to 12. Ball goes here to Peyton Gret. Swing it left-hand side, Cox for three. In, out, and that came out. How about that? It was down and came out. And rebounding by Peyton Gret on the offensive board. Nice job by Peyton. Gets the foul, and uh, the Pirates, who need a bucket right here with 1.41 to go in the half, will uh, inbound from underneath their own basket. All the way out to Brenda Suarez. Peyton Gret with a basketball. May came out to play defense. A little 10-footer. I think that they're going to get uh, Heidi Grand in here. They do, and going to the free throw line here is Peyton Gret. Match both 20, Olathe 12 in the consolation finals for fifth place in the state of Colorado. Free throw by Gret on the way and good. Just four second quarter points here for the Pirates. See if they're using uh, yesterday's M.O., you know, a, a tough low 36 in the second half yesterday. Free throw on the way, good. So Peyton Gret off of her hustle, gets two free throws and knocks them both down. Minute and a half to go first half, and the lead is six here for the Buffaloes. May with a basketball will bring it all the way out. 1.20 to go. Grandin, Montoya at the low post. Not where she usually is. May will take it back out. Tawny Middleton's on her. Here's Montoya. Jukes in the paint. 
Gets the runner up off the glass and in. Diana Montoya's got four. And the lead back up to eight. Kylie Tate in the hole, banks it off the glass and in. Tate's got six in the basketball game. And now they stepped in on the inbound. That's a mistake you're not going to find Diana Montoya make often, but they, she does there. 52 seconds to go. The lead is cut to six here. And a chance here for the Pirates to get even closer. Got to get this one in. They do. Kylie Tate's going to step up. Rejected that time by Montoya. Tate stepped back and tried to nail it, and Montoya got right up there and slapped it into the crowd. 49 to play. Here's Middleton. Going to try three. Long one on the way. Back of the rim and up over the backboard out of bounds. 44 seconds left in the half. And the Buffaloes will control now with a six-point lead. Knocked off in the second round of this tournament by DSST. Or in the first round of this tournament, the quarterfinals. That's a, DSST is an interesting club. Only six players. Here's a travel. Kirsten Grandin, too many steps. Gives the Pirates another chance here with 26 ticks on the clock. Middleton comes front court with a basketball now. Suarez out high. Middleton cut through that time. Double screen for her. Stop, pop. On the way. She missed that one all the way. Here's Gret with another rebound. That's off the back of the rim. And Kirsten Grandin. They clear it up to May. Three on the clock. May in deep all the way. Lay it up. No. Rebound to the Pirates and we're done with half of basketball. Buffalo's 22 and the Pirates 16. Match buff. Six point edge. At the end of one, you're watching coverage of the 3A state tournament on Chassa.tv. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Hey, hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. Be an actor, writer, or scientist. With small class sizes and caring faculty, your great story begins here. Adams State College offers state-of-the-art classrooms and an adventure program that rocks your world. Our affordable tuition and close campus community enriches the lives of a diversity of students. Helping you, inspiring you to be your very best. Adam State College. Great stories begin here. The schools taking part in today's event are part of the 340 member schools of the Colorado High School Activities Association. As members, we promote and protect the privilege of participation in interscholastic activities. We also promote lifetime values like respect, hard work, teamwork, and sporting behavior. We help reach and motivate students. We develop policies as a group as a responsibility of membership. We are coaches, game officials, and administrators working for the common good of kids. We are CHASA. He wasn't looking for a roommate not even a four-legged one. But good things have a way of turning up. Wasn't long till they realized how much they relied on each other. There's power in a great relationship. That's why we take time to get to know each of our customers personally. Like Henry and Chance. Those relationships are the strength of our community bank. And that's the way banking should be. You know why I like high school activities? Because they're fun. You know what I don't like about high school sports? Too much pressure from parents. Seeking balance in high school activities is important. Parents need to support and encourage high school students and not set unrealistic expectations. Give the games back to us. And keep activities where they're supposed to be. Fun! fun. 
The Colorado High School Activities Association is made up of 340 high schools with 185,000 students participating in high school activities. Our members promote lifetime values to help reach and motivate students. CHASA develops policies as a group as a responsibility of membership. CHASA is coaches, game officials, and administrators voluntarily working for the common good of kids. CHASA is high school activities. The Colorado High School Activities Association says thank you to these companies for supporting activities in your school. Thanks for meeting me here. No problem. You know, Farm Bureau Insurance has local agents making this kind of thing real easy. Well, your auto insurance has saved me a lot on old Becky here. That's great. And since our headquarters are local, we'll be here for old Becky for a long time. Harold, your dog swallowed the remote again. Who's that? Older Becky. Oh. Ugh. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Yeah. Hey, hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. Be an actor, writer, or scientist. With small class sizes and caring faculty, your great story begins here. Adams State College offers state-of-the-art classrooms and an adventure program that rocks your world. Our affordable tuition and close campus community enriches the lives of a diversity of students. Helping you, inspiring you to be your very best. Adams State College. Great stories begin here. The schools taking part in today's event are part of the 340 member schools of the Colorado High School Activities Association. As members, we promote and protect the privilege of participation in interscholastic activities. We also promote lifetime values like respect, hard work, teamwork, and sporting behavior. We help reach and motivate students. We develop policies as a group as a responsibility of membership. We are coaches, game officials, and administrators working for the common good of kids. We are CHASA. He wasn't looking for a roommate, not even a four-legged one. But good things have a way of turning up. Wasn't long till they realized how much they relied on each other. There's power in a great relationship. That's why we take time to get to know each of our customers personally. Like Henry and Chance. Those relationships are the strength of our community bank. And that's the way banking should be. You know why I like high school activities? Because they're fun. You know what I don't like about high school sports? Too much pressure from parents. Seeking balance in high school activities is important. Parents need to support and encourage high school students and not set unrealistic expectations. Give the games back to us. And keep activities where they're supposed to be. Fun! The Colorado High School Activities Association is made up of 340 high schools with 185,000 students participating in high school activities. Our members promote lifetime values to help reach and motivate students. CHASA develops policies as a group as a responsibility of membership. CHASA is coaches, game officials, and administrators voluntarily working for the common good of kids. CHASA is high school activities. The Colorado High School Activities Association says thank you to these companies for supporting activities in your school. Thanks for meeting me here. 
No problem. You know, Farm Bureau Insurance has local agents making this kind of thing real easy. Well, your auto insurance has saved me a lot on old Becky here. That's great. And since our headquarters are local, we'll be here for old Becky for a long time. Harold, your dog swallowed the remote again. Who's that? Older Becky. Oh. Ugh. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. All right, Clark Johnson back here at Moby Arena. Consolation finals here for the girls. And at halftime, a 16, or rather a 22-16 lead for the Match buff Buffaloes. Take a look at the team stats in the first half. Olathe shot 20% from the floor, 4 of 20. Match buff 9 of 19, 47%, so they got the better end there. 2 of 12 from beyond the arc here for Olathe in the first half. Just one tray that uh, the Buffaloes tried. 0 for 1 there. And from the free throw line, 4 of 6 for Matchbuff. And the Olathe Pirates went 6 of 8 from the foul line in the first half. Turnovers 8 apiece. Rebounds 14-13 in favor of Matchbuff. Offensive rebounds 10-7 in favor of Olathe. Wanted to look on there and Take a look, Peyton Gret, first half, had two offensive rebounds. Amanda Kinnernecht had three. I knew they got their hands on the ball down low a bunch, but uh, in offensive rebounds, Lucy Rogers three for match buff. So at halftime, 22-16, gets set for the second half here. Winner of this ends up fifth in the state of Colorado, and right now the Buffaloes with that six-point advantage. Trying to get there. Number two overall seed in the tournament. Number one was Holy Family, knocked off by Florence in the Sweet 16. And then it went to, everybody looked towards Matchbuff to be the team to beat, and they got beat by Denver Science and Tech in the quarterfinals here, the first round here at Moby. They still look terrific. Inside a howl here, turned the base, put it up off the glass and in. Hard to stop once she gets the basketball down low. Rebecca Howell's got eight in the basketball game. Front court here, Middleton. Swinging around here to Kylie Tate. Middleton made her first shot with a basketball right now, a three-pointer outside. And after that, missed seven straight since. Here's Tate with a basketball now. Inside, Middleton has the low post. Back to Tate outside. She'll get the baseline. She loves to drive that baseline. Here's Bethany Cox, got it, knocks it down from about 16 feet. Bethany Cox, her first uh, basket of the ball game, comes here in the third quarter. 24-18. Bucket for each team here in the third quarter. Aisha May. Got Howell at the high post. Now Lucy Rogers comes to the other side high post on the weak side. Inside, throw it up, no. A little bit of a longer shot that time for Howell, and it came off the, uh, off the glass. Here's Kylie Tate, see if she can drive on Hal baseline. In deep, nice bounce pass, Suarez bank it up off the glass and in. 
Brenda Suarez, her first bucket. So Cox and Suarez get their first buckets here for the Pirates, and it's a four-point ball game. May with a basketball, give it a howl outside now. See if Rebecca looks for Lucy Rogers. Instead, it's May. Back out top. Montoya will not hesitate to post up inside. Here's May to the basket, and the foul is going to be on Middleton. I've got one for Tani, but it is her first foul and first uh, team foul of the second half. So 24-20. And number 24, Aisha May to the free throw line. May steps in, first one on the way and got it. Her first free throw of the day today. Four of six from the foul line in the win over Bayfield yesterday. 70% foul shooter for the season. 25-20, Buffalo's by a nickel right now, a Buffalo nickel. That's on the way and got it. Make it a six-point advantage now. Full court pressure now for the Pirates, or for the Buffaloes, rather. Pirates break the press, get to the front court here with Kylie Tate. Middleton for three. He got it. Was going to say, Tani just going to miss that one. It looked like it was going to roll out for a sec, but she nails it. Her second tray of the game, she's got six points. Down low, tough to guard. Rebecca Howell. Four points in the quarter, 10 in the basketball game for Howell. 28-23 Buffaloes. Good pace to the second half. Bethany Cox for three, back of the rim. Nice board that time on the weak side for Rodgers. May with Grandin. Aisha the hole. Four in the quarter, 10 in the game, just like Howell. Turnover here, here's Montoya. Her pass to Aisha May goes through her hands out of bounds. Looked like she might have hurt herself a little bit. Jumping for the basketball. 5.08 to go third quarter. Seven point advantage. For the Buffaloes. They led by six at the half. Suarez in all kinds of trouble there. It's just the worst place to get a basketball is in the corner in the forecourt. Once you do that, you've got the out-of-bounds line as a defender, you've got the half-court line as a defender, and then two more defenders come on her, and she's surrounded with nowhere to go. Just not where you want to put the basketball. Inside here for Middleton. Turn around, a little five-footer, and she gets that. Tani Middleton starting to come alive. She's got eight in the ballgame. 30-25, Pirates hanging around here. Howell wants to go to Rodgers instead to Grandin. Now to Rodgers. And she throws it out of bounds. Oh, it might have got tipped. It did. Pirates got a hand on it, so 4.33 to go. The lead's still five, and the Buffaloes still maintain possession of the basketball. What's at stake here? Fifth of the Consolation Finals today on Chassa.tv. Here's Grandin to the hole. Throw it up. No, ball tipped away that time by Alexa Tina. Comes to the hands of the Pirates. Kylie Tate to the front court. Cox in the corner, back to Tate. Gonna put it up, left-hander for three, back of the rim. Nice rebound, Lucy Rogers. Rather, uh, take that back, that's Alexa Tina on the rebound. Grandin for three, bingo. Kirsten at Grandin knocks it down. And just like that, the lead back to eight. Middleton will go here to Turley baseline. Might have got a piece of that, but it goes in anyway. Haley Turley knocks it down. She's got four in the game. And they get the steal here. Big chance here for the Pirates to cut it to four. Tate to the basket, off the glass, rolls the rim and comes out. Here's Turley fighting again for the rebound. Jump ball and it's gonna go here to the Buffaloes. Haley Turley, a couple of rebounds, both on the offensive ends of the glass in the first half and got one more there. Here's Montoya to the front court. 
Heidi Grandin back out on top. Montoya gets the screen here from Howell. Post up, low. Howell turns, off the glass, no. Nice defensive job that time by Bethany Cox. And down low, that's a jump ball. It's going to go the other direction this time. Pirates will get it. 33-27, they just won't go away right now. Just hanging around between four and eight point lead for the Pirates, or four rather for the Buffaloes. Pirates can go on a little run, they're right back in it. Amanda Kinternecht. 251 to go in the third, dribbles out of trouble. Bethany Cox. Go back out to Middleton who's heating up. Tawny's got eight in the ball game. Here's Kinnernick, lefty for three, back of the rim. Nice job inside, Kirsten Grandin with a rebound. Give it to Montoya, and here come the Buffaloes. Grandin right in front of us. Rebecca Howell for three, off the side of the rim. Up high there is Tate. Pirates on the run here, 33-27, they trail by six. In deep, Tate got knocked around, throw it off the glass, and almost got it. I think they're going to call this one on the floor anyway. Rebecca Howell is going to get the foul. Third foul on Rebecca Howell. T13 to go, so not in too much danger there. Kirsten Grandin checks out, and the Pirates to inbound to basketball. Just one foul apiece here in the second half. Inside, Peyton Gret, and she lost it out of bounds. Turnover for the Pirates. Trailing by six right now. Pirates have to... Take advantage of every possession from here on out. 2.08 to go. Here's Montoya to the front court. Double high post. Triple high post. Look at that. May came in to join the crowd. Look at the dribbling. All the way to the basket that time. No good. Rebound put back by Howell. No good. Tipped out of bounds here. It should be off of. Let's see. No, they're going to keep it here. I thought Alexa Tina might have been the last one to knock it out of bounds, but the uh, Buffaloes will keep it, and Montoya will inbound. Inside, nice pass. Howell puts it up, and she'll get free throws. Second foul on Gret in the basketball game. Second team foul. And at the free throw line, Rebecca Howell has got 10 points in the ball game. Free throw on the way, and that's perfect. Three of four from the stripe today for Rebecca Howell. Right about her average at 77% for the year. That one on the way and got that as well. Six in the quarter, 12 in the game for Rebecca Howell, and the leads back to eight. Just seems to flow be between four and eight. Matchup up not giving up the lead, but uh, the Pirates are just hanging around. Here's Kinnerneck, knocked out of her hand. Going to be uh, run down here by Cox. Get up, get up, Middleton out high. 2-3 zone here for the Buffaloes. Come out high. Ball in the quarter. Middleton has got the hot hand. Is short here. Rebound is off. It's on the ground. Here's Peyton Gret. Give it right hand side. Middleton missed the banker inside. And Rebecca Howell will clear. Outside to May. And Ellie Kemp wants timeout. 108 to go, third quarter, and her Buffaloes lead by eight and possession of the basketball. Next on the agenda here on TV, you've got the consolation championship for the boys, Mark Angusers Club, Colorado Springs Christian will take on Manuel. Manuel was down early yesterday in the uh, their first uh, consolation. Game against the Manitou Springs. Jesse McGeary came out hot. And Aaron Malvern, the two big shooters for Manitou Springs. They built a 14-point first half lead. But Manuel came back and ended up winning by six. Manuel came back on a 10-point lead in that one. Manitou Springs held a stayed around a little bit, and Manuel ends up winning by six there. And on the other side, CS Christian took care of Eaton 59-49. They'll meet at 11:30 when this one's done. That'll be for fifth place on the boys' side. Here's May with a basketball out top. 58 seconds to go here in the third quarter. What was a six-point halftime lead for the Buffaloes is now eight. 
Shot on the way there is good. Alexa Tina. Looked like she lost control of the basketball before she was going to shoot. Regained the control and knocked it down. Kinnerneck wants to go baseline against Howell. Rebecca cut her off. Pirates need a score here. They're down 10. That's the biggest lead of the game so far for the Buffaloes. In the corner here for three. Middleton nailed it. Tani Middleton, her third tray of the basketball game. She's got eight in the quarter, 11 overall. 12 seconds left. The lead is seven. Here's Howell at the high post. Tried to go back to her. It goes to Montoya instead in the lane. She'll throw it up and a travel. Three seconds left. Ellie Kemp wanted the foul, didn't get it. Inbound comes here. They'll get it up to Middleton. She'll fire a half quarter at the buzzer, and we're done with three quarters. After three, it's matchbook 37, Olathe 30. Coming back with the final eight minutes. You're watching coverage of the 3A state tournament on Chassa.tv. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Yeah. Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. Back at Moby Arena, Clark Johnson on Chassa.tv here, 37-30. The Buffaloes from Matchbook trying to take the consolation finals here, end up in fifth place in the state. Came in the number two overall seed. But uh, since that loss to Denver Science and Tech, they've looked terrific in this tournament. You just let one get away from you, and it can uh, ruin the tournament for you. After looking at all these teams here, I think Matchbuff and Eaton are the two best teams in this tournament with Holy Family not being here. And that's the way the seeding went. But Matchbuff won't be in the finals. The Eaton Reds will tonight. Taking on Faith Christian on the girls' side. Ball here to Lucy Rogers. High post. Grand and outside. Going to give it outside to May here. Down low with a basketball. That's Rebecca Howell fading away instead of going to it. Lucy Rogers, another offensive rebound. Here's Montoya, stop from 17. Rebound is off. Here's the Pirates the other way, three on one. They've got numbers. Middleton will stop, pop, doesn't get it. And this is Kinnernecht over the back. It'll be the third team foul here against the Pirates. They looked at a little pressure here for the Pirates uh, full court, and then they backed off. Montoya against Gret. Inside for Howell. Nice pass. That's what we were talking about before. These two work so well together. They all went to Howell at the low block. She turned around and fought, found Lucy Rogers all alone. First bucket for Rogers on the day, though. Outside here for Gret. Tate to the basket. Stuffed it down. It, uh, it is Gret with the rebound inside. It was blocked out by the referee for a sec there. Ball knocked out of bounds here. And it'll stay with the Buffaloes. Thirty-nine, thirty. Buffaloes lead by nine. Biggest lead of the basketball game for the Buffs have been a ten-point lead at thirty-seven, twenty-seven. Six thirty-nine to go in this consolation final. High post here for Howell. Grandin, offensive rebound again. Lucy Rogers can't get it to go though. Tate will run it down, and the Pirates will come back here with Middleton. Outside for Cox. Three on the way. No. Rogers will fight for it. We've got a jump ball, and this one's going to go to the Pirates. Jump 
So a seven-point third-quarter lead is now nine for the Buffaloes. That one knocked out of bounds. And the Pirates will maintain possession here with 6.13 to play in the basketball game. Look forward to the boys' game next up. Consolation final between Manuel and Colorado Springs Christian. Here's Suarez. Outside, Middleton for three off the front of the rim. Ball belongs still to the Pirates here. 39-30. Nine-point edge. Pirates have to find some offense now to try to cut into this lead before it gets too late. Still six minutes to play. Middleton wanted to go to the basket, spin in the lane, and Aisha May reached in and knocked it out of bounds with 5.57 to play. Pirates getting some work on the inbound play, at least right here. Third consecutive time they'll inbound underneath their own basket. Ball docked away. Montoya, Montoya's going to go for it. Suarez on the ground, and now half a dozen of them are. Out of my view, but half of Fort Collins was on that floor that time. 39-30. Fourth chance here for the Pirates to inbound the basketball and try to score. Middleton. Around a screen here from Tate. Tate to the hole, but she got bumped. Nice pass inside, and Cox missed the layup. Finally, the Buffalo's able to get the basketball back. Leading by nine. Those were chances the Pirates can't afford to miss right here. Howl down low. Grandin to Montoya. Six points for Diana Montoya in the ball game. 5.15 to play. And the biggest lead of the game for the Buffaloes at 11, 41-30. Kylie Tate with a basketball in deep. And now a jump ball. Possession arrow is going to go back to the Buffaloes. So the Pirates having some problems offensively. And now the Buffaloes extending that lead into a scary territory right now for the Pirates down 11. Heidi Grandin checks back into the basketball game. So both the Grandin sisters in right now. Howell, Rogers, the two Grandins. And Aisha May for the Buffaloes. This is Kirsten Grandin. Give it to May outside. Howell's got the low post. Bank it up off the glass and in. She had dished a couple of times that she got the ball in the low post prior to that, but this time she takes care of it herself, and it's a 13-point lead, and Paul Althaus wants to talk about it. This one's slipping away from the Pirates. 4.43 to go in the basketball game, and the lead for the Buffaloes has ballooned to 13. In-depth coverage of every state tournament game in every class can be found online at coloradopreps.com. Get the quickest results and updated brackets at coloradopreps.com and we invite you to join us for a full recap of the state tournament each night from 9 o'clock until 10 o'clock on the scoreboard show. A couple seats down from me, Kevin Schaefer has that for you. And the last show tonight as we are on Championship Saturday on the Colorado Preps Radio Network. Coverage of the state basketball tournament also brought to you in part by uh, the Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance. They can handle your auto, home, and life insurance. Handle all those needs locally with qualified and knowledgeable agents throughout the state. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. All righty, 4.43 to go. Defining moment in the basketball game now. The Buffaloes by 13. If the Pirates hope they have any chance at the end, they're going to have to come up with something here. Tawny Middleton to the basket now. Middleton's got 11. She's going to have to do something offensively. Kylie Tate's been a little quiet today with six points. Outside here for Tate. Rogers is on her. Buffalo's still in her man-to-man -man defense. Into the middle of the paint. Tate puts it up, and it won't go. Rebound is off. And that's Heidi Grandin with a basketball. A little full-court pressure here. Doesn't need to reach there. Ball knocked out of bounds. It's going to belong to the Pirates. 
little risky there for Kylie Tate to reach in and knock it away. They were probably already on a seven or eight count. But it works out good for the Pirates. Down 13, they've got to find a way to put the ball in the hole here. Tate for three, bingo. Kylie's got nine in the basketball game and that was desperately needed for the Pirates here. May tries to come to the front court, double team but a foul. And I think they'll get Middleton here with 3.53 to go. Second for Tani, fourth team foul here. Just one team foul so far in the second half against the Buffaloes. Double teamer and the steal is Middleton. Mays on her, Middleton to the hole, score it. She's got 13 now. That's a good five quick points here for the Pirates and they're back within eight. May gets the ball to Rogers. And now Aisha will set things up between the circles. 3.25 to go. Howell at the high post, they're gonna get Cox here on the reach. Third foul on Bethany Cox, fifth team foul. Still a couple to shoot here. That ball intercepted by Kylie Tate. Not the kind of pass Ellie Kemp wants from her team right now. 13 point lead is down to eight and the Pirates with the basketball. Outside, Turley's gonna get a bounce. A three for Haley Turley. That's an 8-0 run quickly for the Pirates and they're back within five. 2.59 to go. And we've got a basketball game. We were talking about the Pirates needing something offensive, a spark of some sort, and they get it there with a couple of trays, Tate and Turley, and then Middleton knocking down a two. They're back within five. I want to thank sponsor Adams State College. High school students can start their college education and earn high school credit through Adams State Early College and concurrent enrollment courses offered throughout Colorado for more visit www.adams.edu. That's www.adams.edu. So it looked for a moment that the Buffaloes were in big time control of this one. And we said this is a defining moment in the basketball game. And since then, the Pirates have rolled off eight straight. And it's 43-38. We got a new ball game with 2.59 to go in this consolation final, battling for fifth place in the state of Colorado. Ellie Kemp with the timeout, try to settle her troops. They have seen this lead go quickly. Last three times, times down the floor here for the Pirates. They've been able to knock down two trays and then a bucket by Middleton as well. Inbound here. Full court pressure now put on by the Pirates, man to man. Dana Jenkins in, give the ball back to Montoya. High post is where uh, Rebecca Howell sits. They go to her. Back out on top, Aisha May, and now Montoya. 2.40 to play. Buffalo's uncharacteristically uh, characteristically throwing it away a little bit. May to the hole, couldn't get it to go, but she'll end up at the free throw line here. 43-38. Bethany Cox, it's gotta be her fourth. Going to the free throw line right now, Aisha May, two for two at the stripe on the day. Yeah. 11 points now for the junior from Matchbook. May knocks down the pair. So what the Buffaloes needed there was to stop the Pirate 8-0 run and they did right there, back to seven with two and a half to play. Tate to the hole. Cox got the side of the backboard. So little Brenda Suarez come out with that one. Middleton all day long at the low post. Instead, Kylie Tate hits a big three. She's got a pair of trays in the quarter here. 12 in the basketball game. We're down to a four point lead. Foul, I think they're gonna get uh, Kylie Tate at the end. So after she hits the three, gets collared with a foul here. And it's going to send uh, 
Brenda Howell. She's been wiping at her lip a lot today. Keeps getting cut open. 2.12 to go. Little trick there. She's using the inside of the jersey to wipe the blood off her lip. 2.12 to go. Guess you can't see it on the inside. 2.12 left. Four-point lead for the Buffaloes. Big free throws right here. Rebecca, five of six from the free throw line so far today. She's got three in the quarter and 15 in the basketball game. Knocked it down. So the senior comes up big time there. 47-41 to lead back to six. Kylie Tate, I said she was uh, a little light on the scoring end, but she's hit two trays here. And now on the floor is Aisha May, and they're going to get Cox with the foul. So May is going to come down to this end and shoot a one and one here. It's going to be the ninth team foul, or is this still just eight? Let's see. 47-41. Aisha May, four for four from the foul stripe today. 70% for the year. And here's a big front end for Aisha May. First part of the one and one. On the way and got it. No doubt about it. Five for five at the line today. And she'll earn a second one here. And the lead is back to seven here for the Buffaloes. Eyes the bucket. That one rolls around and comes out. Knocked out of bounds. This is going to be pirate basketball, though. 2-0-1 to play. The lead is seven. Tiny Middleton is going to let this one come as far as it can and throws it back to Tate who wasn't looking. Kylie with a basketball out high. Middleton. Going to try a three. Bingo! How about that one from downtown? Five in the quarter. She's got 16 in the game and four from beyond the arc. Knocked away there. Fought for and a steal. Tate's going to give it to Middleton and she lost the handle. Down by four, and they got the ball taken away. Now they got it back, Middleton. Just need to slow it down, the Pirates do. Plenty of time, a minute and a half left. Down low, this is Turley in against the trees. They're going to get a foul here, though. So the lead is four, and going to the free throw line is the 5'4 junior, Haley Turley. Two for two today from the foul stripe, 76% for the year. Not a bad choice to have at the line right now for the Pirates who try to cut it to two here. First one's perfect. Buffalo's led by 13 with about six minutes to play in the ball game. And now we're down to three. Good run by the Pirates here at the end. 48-45, Turley's got another one coming. Knocks both of them down, and the lead is two here. Precarious lead for the Buffaloes. Ball to the front court. Aisha May going to stop and pull it out. Smart move there. Give the ball to Jenkins. Tried to go into the uh, post here to Howell. Knocked out of bounds. Little Brenda Suarez was going to climb over and get it for the ref. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice effort. They're paid to chase the ball, and they'll have to go around and get it there. 112 to go, 48-46. Buffalo's holding on to just that two-point lead. Lucy Rogers. Nothing but a good shot here is what Ellie Kemp wants. Use as much time off that clock as they can and then get something good. Here's May. Montoya underneath all alone. Bank it up off the glass and in. Heidi Grandin, big shot at the right time. Just the fourth point for Heidi in the basketball game. Got it. Couldn't have come at a bigger time. The lead is four, and she can make it five at the foul stripe with about 58 seconds to play. Side of the rim. Howell tries to run it down. Saves it, but she walked. Nice effort by Rebecca Howell in the corner. Momentum just got the best of her there and sent her for the extra step. 56 to play. Timeout on the court. 
and a four-point edge. So let's set it for you. 56 to play. Buffaloes on top by four. It'll be Pirate basketball. Team fouls. Pirates nine for the Buffaloes, just two. In-depth coverage of every state tournament game and every class can be found online at coloradopreps.com. Get the quickest results and updated brackets at coloradopreps.com. We invite you to join us for a full recap of the state tournament each night from 9 to 10. Last night tonight for that big show with Kevin Schaefer on the scoreboard show, the Colorado Preps Radio Network. Consolation game for fifth place, the finals of the consolation side. Matchbook and Olathe. The Buffaloes were at about the six minute mark of the fourth quarter led by 13. We said at that time, defining moments of the game right here, which way is it gonna go? And the Pirates went on an 8-0 run, got back in the basketball game. We're sitting at four right now. So two possession game, but the Pirates have the ball. Kylie Tate, who has been everywhere today, comes to the front court with a basketball. She's got 12 points. Knocked out of her hands, Middleton. Five in the quarter, 16 in the game for Tani. Suarez with 40 seconds left. They don't have to hurry this. There's enough time right now. In the hole, and Turley tried to force it up, couldn't get it to go, and now a jump ball comes out of it. And this is gonna go to the Pirates. Kevin Schaefer's down there going, that's two in the takedown. And last time I was in a wrestling match, it was in third grade, so I'm not sure what that means. 30 seconds to go in this one, 50-46. Inbound coming right here. Middleton gets it inside. Turley turns, puts it up, and she got the foul. I think she got bailed out there. 50-46. And going to the free throw line here is Haley Turley. 76% foul shooter for the season, and she's four of six today at the strike. Really needs these two right here. It's on the way, rolls the rim, no good. Ellie Kemp going to put a little ice under her with 28 seconds to go before she shoots the second one. Full time out there with 50, 46 score and 28 seconds to go in the basketball game. So it'll be Turley at the line shooting one more shot. Chance to get within three here with 28 seconds to go. Team fouls in the basketball game for Olathe. They're at nine. So anything that Olathe, the Pirates would foul here, it'll be double bonus. And the Buffaloes have just three, so that's trouble right there for the Pirates. If they need to start fouling match buff, they're going to have to foul four times before they can put the, uh, the Buffaloes at the foul strike. Great thing about that, early in the game when you don't have fouls, but if you're behind and need to foul at the end, they got a bunch of fouls to give here. 28 seconds to go and a four-point advantage. Coverage of the state basketball tournament on Chassa.tv is presented in part by Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance. They can handle your auto, home, and life insurance needs locally with qualified and knowledgeable agents throughout the state. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. All right, here comes a big free throw. Still a two-possession game right now, but Turley can make it a one-possession game if she can knock this down. Free throw on the way, got that one, that was a big one. Now they'll see if they can get a stop or just foul. 28 seconds left, probably a quick time of pressure. If they don't get it in about 10 seconds, they're gonna have to foul. Ball down court, Grandin wants it, ball tipped around, she got hit in the face. Maybe in the eye right there. And she's gonna end up at the foul line here. Kirsten Grandin, see if she's okay. 21 seconds left. It was a little precarious, the ball bouncing around there almost. A loose ball on the floor there for the Pirates to go get. Big free throw right here. Grandin missed that one, but she's got another because of the double bonus. <laughs> 21 seconds, that one on the way, no good. So the Pirates have a chance here, down three. Here's Kylie Tate to the front court and Paul Outhouse wants to call timeout. 17 seconds. 
to go for the Pirates to look at this down by three. Six minutes to go in the basketball game. The Buffaloes led by 13. And now they're holding on for dear life with just under 18 ticks left. What's at stake is fifth place in the state. This is the consolation final. Next one to come are the boys on the consolation final side. Manuel and the Colorado Springs Christian coming up about 10 minutes after this one concludes right here on TV. Moby Arena, great site for this grade eight, my favorite tournament in all of high school basketball. Every year they put on a great show, even a better job this year because they have the hospitality room back. So not only do I get to come out and announce for TV, they also feed me. That's always a good point for me. 18 seconds to go and a three point lead. Pirates gonna get the basketball here at half court. Coach Althouse will break his team from the huddle here. And Ellie Kemp's team going to try to bear down and play some defense without fouling. See what they do here. Kylie Tate going to work on it outside to Suarez. Now they almost have to go for a three as they bit off a big chunk of the clock here. Tate to Middleton. Going to back up. Long three on the way. Going to be short. This game's going to be over. Rebecca Howell with the foul and we're with the uh, rebound and we're done. Good job on the defensive end by the Buffaloes there in the final seconds. Thought that the Pirates might try to score quickly inside and then foul, but instead they let the clock get down to eight seconds and by that time they had to go for three. We'll come back and wrap this one up. Buffaloes, fifth place in the state of Colorado. The winners of the consolation final on the girls' side, 50 to 47 over Olathe. We're coming back. Well, you're watching coverage of the 3A State Tournament on Chassa.tv. Back at Moby Arena as we wrap up the consolation on the girls' side. The final goes to the Match buff Buffaloes as they win this one by a final score of 50-47. to 47. High scores in the basketball game for the winners who end up with fifth place in the state of Colorado. Sixth place goes to the Olathe Pirates who came back strong in the final six minutes to make it a tight contest at the end. 16 points for Rebecca Howell, the big one down low. Aisha May had 13 in the basketball game. Kirsten Grandin had seven. And Diana Montoya with six to lead the way for match buff. For the Pirates, Tawny Middleton had 16. Kylie Tate had 12. And uh, Haley Turley had 10. So great effort by the Pirates just to climb back in this one. They were down uh, 13 with six to go and made the Buffaloes earn it at the end. Fifth place and consolation champions here for the 3A side on the girls the match buff buffaloes 50 and the olathe pirates of 47 it's manual and cs christian on the boys side for fifth place when we come back you're watching coverage of the 3a state tournament on chassa.tv